I'm Duncan from Auto Shine and Tintin, and behind me is our demo Range Rover SVR, and it is looking filthy. But the reason I'm showing you this dirty is because today we've got a very different type of video to show you. Currently, the car is wrapped in Inazitec Midnight Gold. It looks amazing when it's clean, but in my opinion, not so great when it's dirty. And the problem is this car takes forever to clean properly and we're busy. We haven't got time to do it, which means the car is always dirty, but there could be a solution to my problem. Recently, I've had a couple of customers whose cars with PPF tell me they've took it to a car wash. Now, I winced when I heard this, but this is a different type of car wash. We're gonna jump in the car now, head over there, and we're gonna show you why. Right, down to business. The car wash we're going to is in Shrewsbury, and it's called Wash Now. And on their website it says they are your local touchless car wash. Now, what's got me so interested is touchless. We would never use a car wash like that one. Show that one, Nathan. Quick, quick, quick. We would never use that. And the reason is the brushes on those type of car washes repeatedly just scratch the paint and just trash the paint, never mind a nice glossy midnight gold wrap. Now with touchless, technically nothing's touching the car, so there should be no way the wrap or the paint can get damaged. So we'll head over, find out how much it costs, find out exactly how it works, and if we're happy, then we'll put the S3R through it. And find out now i want to mention i've got no affiliation with this car wash whatsoever I have no idea who owns it so if it's good i'm going to tell you if it's bad i'm also going to tell you so let's find out we're here so we can show how that's working so those jets are like doing a crazy little dance please select a car wash by pressing one of the service buttons on the screen so it's 10 pound basic wash because the other wash said there was a hand car wash pre and I didn't that defeats the object of it being touchless. But to be fair, Chappy over there is doing a good job with the jet wash, doing all inside the arches and everything else. Do you know if I went for the other one it said there was a hand wash before that? We do now for it doesn't mean it's okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Cheers mate. Uh, so the hand wash was this bit here. So the hand wash wasn't using a bucket and sponge like I thought. I should have had the one above it but I think they're doing it Anyway, looking at these, and the only issue is going to be too much pressure from a jet wash when it comes to PPF and wrap. We do recommend when a car's PPF to still use a jet wash, but keep it back like around two feet. So we're now driving slowly. Now the jets, oh, look at that. That looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> like that. So far, really impressive, but the power of these jets could be too much for a car with PPF on. I can't believe I'm in an automated car wash. This is so wrong. There's some powerful things there, aren't they? Yeah. They're not focusing on one spot for too long. No, they? that's the advantage. So they move really quick. You can't feel it, but the whole car is rocking, it's isn't moving. it? That is how powerful those jets are. There's a lot of pressure. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so he drives it by hand now. So this is the only time someone's touched the car. What's he driving it with? Microfiber towel. Is that okay for the man? We'll find out, won't we? So what we're going to do, we're going to drive around the corner, park in the sun so we can see the result. So the only time he's touched that car is when he's drying it. Really, there's no way you can wash and dry that car. How dirty this was, touchless. It's not going to happen. The only thing that's touched it is a microfiber drying cloth. And I looked and he was using new cloths then. So they must have a large selection of them and they just use new ones. Unless he's just using new ones because he's sitting with a camera, but I don't think he has. So before we get out and see the results, even if it's not clean, the effort they've gone to is good, yeah? yeah? I'll give them 10 out of 10 for the effort. In total, we were there 20 minutes. That included waiting for that car in front, which we probably wait in four or five minutes. Yeah. So it probably took 15 minutes start to finish, and he did seem to take a lot more time drying our car than he did the others. So let's do this. Let's get out. Let's have a look. Oh. Do I need to be scared? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a lot cleaner than it was. There are swirl marks. I expected them because of how it was dry. But what I would say, I've washed this car really, really 
carefully and I've probably got four or five more swirl marks in them then for anyone who doesn't know about Rappel PPF it's really soft it's a plastic so it sustains these type of scratches quite easily you just touch them and they'll come but it self heals in direct sunlight and any type of heat I could heat it with a hairdryer or pour hot water on them they just go instantly so within five ten minutes these are going to disappear so nothing to worry about so I'm not bothered about there wheels I'm really impressed with these wheels are a nightmare and they have done them mint so I can see dirt on the inside of the arches Grill is dirty, technical shape. I guess it's never going to be perfect, is it? It's yeah. never going to be as good, but I, I think in the winter, especially when it's so hard to clean these cars, they take so long to do and it's cold and we're busy. I think I'd use it, but then like every two or three, I'd, want, I'd do it myself a bit properly, but just to get all the crap off, it's better than all that stuff being sat on the car. For me, personally, it's a thumbs up for wash now in Shrewsbury. The only issue I had with wrap and PPF was the power of the jets, but they move so quickly, they weren't on any part of the paint, like they were only on there for a split second, so I don't think that will cause any issues with what we do. Thanks for watching this totally different video for us. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of it, and if, you, if there's anything else like this you'd like to do, any type of videos. We have got some other type of things coming up for you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.